All right. Look at this. That's the cap for the steering wheel, people. This is for the Bimini, the blocks. I had to order a bunch of them. I have everybody ordering them for. So, looking nice, looking nice, people. Checking it out, checking it out. The customer's really gonna dig this, man. That looks really dope. All right, let's go install it back on the boat. All right, guys, this is, this is kind of a, an interesting video because these brackets here, all right? Actually, we have them installed right now, all right? We saw these brackets. I'm actually gonna bring, you know what? I'm gonna bring one of the sets in here. All right, so we're gonna show you guys how we install them, all right? In this particular case, we're doing the restoration on this um, Nautica 18, which we're almost done, all right? We did the D-rings in red. You know, they're a little dirty now, but that's fine, because we're whatever, all right? So we're gonna show you guys how to install this, because what we're gonna do is, we sell these brackets, but what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and just sell the whole package and show in this video how you can try to do it yourself. Hopefully, this video will be like a blueprint for you guys to do it. And then if you guys need the parts, you can buy the parts from us at LuxuryRipTenders.com and, you know, normally we weren't selling these parts, but now we're gonna just, we're just gonna have everything set up. We might even just have it made like this, so you guys just install this part once it's already uh, sanded. But we'll figure that out afterwards. And let me show you how this stuff is installed. Okay, you guys see how we have the glue here? I'm sorry, the tape. We put this over, we marked it, and now we're... So keep in mind guys, these are fiberglass on the on the inside. Alright, so it's we make them like that so you know it's, it's sturdy and it can withstand a lot of uh, tension from the bimini. Alright. Alright, so this these this little hardware kit is gonna be on there, okay? This is for the Bimini. These are the screws that are going to go on in here, okay? Um, so remember, we already put the tape on there. That's so it doesn't get messed up. All right? We want to try to keep this looking as sexy as possible, all right? So eventually what happens is you put this here, all right? All right, guys. So we're putting the screws in, all right? This is very simple, guys. Very, very simple. See, you just literally put it in. All right, guys, don't be scared to to make sure it's it's pretty well put on there. Okay, you want to make sure. Remember, this is gonna have a bimini that's gonna be susceptible to wind and. And obviously higher speeds depending on what you guys, you know, how fast you roll on your tenders, all right? There you go. So that's it. That's all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place it. All right, we already pre-marked this area, okay? Just so you guys know, all right? So, and, and here's the divider of both sides of the tubes. Remember, there's different compartments on here. But, all right, so this is on here, all right? And we're going to start marking them now. All right. Guys, all right. So the D-ring, we're going to put it back here. Okay. The Hypolon is the same exact color, guys. But, you know, with sun and, you know, wiping it down and all that stuff, it changes a little bit. Eventually, that same piece is going to look exactly the same color. Once exposed to the elements and stuff like that. But it is the same color, same fabric, everything. Same thing going on over here. All right, so marking everything down, marked here, marked here, all right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another one here. Hey, Lady Gaga. <laughs> all 
All right, so what you want to do is make sure you're taping everything up, all right? All right. Everything is being taped up. All right. And then now you can start sanding it. All right, once it's all taped up properly, what you want to do is make sure everything is nice and clean and perfect. That's why we're taping everything up, marking it, doing it the right way, all right? I'm trying to show you guys exactly how we do it so you guys, when you, when you purchase these parts, you can go ahead and just do it yourself, all right? We'll have everything pre-sanded, ready to go. All you need to do is find your own glue. We can't ship you the glue, all right? But there's places like inflatableboatparts.com that you can probably order the same glue or something similar to it. All right, all right, so you wanna make sure you get all the dust off, all right? Get all the dust off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply two applications of glue on both on the tube, right? And on the back uh, parts of the brackets and the D-rings. All right, same thing over here. We already cleaned it off, but. All right, so here's the back. And now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start uh, mixing the glue and we're gonna put the glue and we're gonna put it on the back of this all right remember this is a, already been sanded if we eventually sell this on the website what we'll do is um, we'll have it pre sanded so all you have to do is put two coats of glue two coats on this and two coats on the tube all right a little bit of tullian No, stop, bro, stop. You're gonna mess up the camera. Alright, guys, so that's kind of like the consistency you want right there, alright? Alright, first hand, first coat of glue, alright? We're putting it on there now. It's exactly what you guys are gonna be doing, alright? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it dries, we're gonna go ahead and put these here, which these have already one coat too. But let's put the first hand also on all the areas of the boat. All right? See? See how he didn't really put so much in the middle? Because it's not going to do anything. So he, he doesn't even want to waste any glue. All right. Now we'll let this dry. Same side. On the other side, it's going to do, do the same thing. All right. So basically, you guys are getting the gist of what's going on here. All right. All right, guys. About 15 to 20 minutes. Let's show them the consistency. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Okay. All right. All right. And now we're just putting it on top of the thing. Disregard the cigarette, people. He's got a problem. It's on there, now what we'll do is we'll get the tool and, uh, and rub it in real, real good.
All right, so now we're definitely getting into it. Pressing it in, making sure it's real, real good. Like I told you guys, the, it's the same color, but this tube has been exposed to a little bit of sun and stuff like that for about maybe two weeks, three weeks. So, and it's been washed a couple times, so you're gonna see it a little bit whiter than that. And then once we clean this up, it'll be white, everything will be the same. All right. All right. All right, so it's got two coats, all right? Essentially what you do to put those bimini blocks on, alright? Now what we'll do is we'll fix it on there, we'll rub it out real real nice and hard. And then and then clean up this the sides. After we rub it up real good like we did back here, we start taking off the glue and we start cleaning everything up. Alright? And now you have a perfectly functional D-ring and a bimini bracket that you can put your bimini on. And that's it. Carlos, so we're going to offer it on the website, all these parts, we're calling you now, everything, the whole set, the whole enchilada, ready to go, you, we'll do the work, all you got to do is find the glue and install it yourself, it's going to be on the website, it is kind of pricey, but listen, it's a lot of work, Carlos, ex explain to them, explain to them, just the D-rings right here, how much time it takes to make them, the way it's supposed to be done right. Easily about two hours, just okay. to make the four D-rings. Oh, 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 okay, so the majority of the time is going to be done on the D-ring. So, but listen, maybe you don't need the D-rings, maybe your boat has D-rings. So, we'll figure it out, it's going to be on the website, check it out, you guys know how to install it. Alright guys, so listen. That's how you install the bracket. We're going to clean it up. I'll leave that. That's not a big thing. You'll see that at the end of the video. We'll clean it up. You could go use some tooling and clean it up and, you know, get it all cleaned up and you should be fine. But look, carbon fiber, nice. I mean, it's hard to see, see it here, right? But look at the details, right? Now you have matching carbon fiber, top, nice new steering wheel, good D-rings, and now we put the bimini. And this bad boy is ready to go and get cleaned up for amazingness. Hey, Carlos. Sure. I don't want to go. Wow, wow. I think we're teaching it too much. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. the video now. Stop the video. Yeah, stop the video. We got to stop the video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you see those flags, you know it's going to be done good. We're out of here. Hey, amazingness.